Hello, YouTubers. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys real quick and tell you about something new that I'm trying, which is the curly girl method. Now I'm taking cones out of my regimen, and I am uh, also taking shampoo out of my regimen. This is day uh, three, or day, yeah, day three hair. Maybe it's, yeah, day three hair. So what I did was I used... Um, I shampooed my hair with kink, come clean, kinky curly, come clean, um, to get out all of the, um, any cones that I've already was using. Um, I, I know that kinky curly is like a botanical type of shampoo, but to me, it really feels like it strips my hair, like it makes my hair kind of dry. So I won't be using that anymore. So I feel like it's it's good to use to kind of start off the curly girl method. So I used that, and then I used um, Tresemme Naturals, the one with the moisturizing one. I used that, and I left it in my hair, smoothed it through, detangled, um, rinsed out very little, and I just you know kept some in. And then I afterwards used my um, Eco Styler Gel over top. I first tried uh, Fruit of the Earth, the aloe vera gel. And I noticed like little white residue, like little balls kind of forming. So I like rinsed that out. So, and then I put in the Eco Styler Gel. But I still kind of noticed there was still some residue. So what I did was I um, did the little scrunching method method with the t-shirt so I scrunched it and got some of the conditioner out and then I put gel over top and it worked. I'm pretty excited to try this out and see how it works for me. The only thing I don't like, like I've worn my hair like this before, like I would mix in mix conditioners, oils in with the Eco Styler Gel and just use that as like a styler and I still have some of that at home, but I don't know what I put in it, so it may have cones. So I'm, I might not use it, I don't know. But, um, like I said, I've done this type of thing before, but I don't like that it looks so flat. Like, I like a little more volume. Um, my hair is fine, so it isn't going to look that big. Right now, my hair is still wet. This morning, I just kind of wet it briefly in the shower and it shook it out the other so I'm gonna give the curly girl method a try I'll check in with YouTube periodically to let you guys see my progress um, looks like right now from using the curly girl method and I will be checking out everyone else's uh, YouTube videos who are also doing the curly girl method and my I keep saying my top maven mahogany curls also has a blog and she is uh, kind of documenting or going through like the process the process of the curly girl method and we can learn a lot from each other through uh, doing this process like all of our hair is different different textures different lengths and everything but you know, we can learn, you know, a little something from each other. Uh, not everyone's hair is going to respond the same way to the same products. Um, but to kind of get an idea of what products you could use, some you have to do some homework. You have to do the research. So it's good to have people out there who are already kind of doing some of the research, research for you. But it's also important to take your hair care into your own hands and do some digging yourself to see what's out there for you. That being said, I'm going to finish this video and um, do some research. Thanks for watching. Um, I will post some pictures.